Thank you very much for visiting my channel. If not difficult, like and subscribe to my channel to always be aware of events. Thank. Joyful footage showing women embracing Ukrainian soldiers in Kharkiv has been shared online as the counter-offensive continues to push forward. In the clip, which has been viewed more than 34,000 times, a woman in a blue shirt can be seen running up to a solider, while another, in a lighter shirt, does the same. The second woman approaches a solider sat on a wall wearing his uniform, a black vest and helmet, giving him a hug before she turns and approaches another soldier. As the war in Ukraine marks 200 days, the country has reclaimed broad swathes of the south and east in a long-anticipated counter-offensive that has dealt a heavy blow to Russia. Filmed approximately two days ago, the joyous women could be seen embracing the fighters warmly in Balaklia, a city in Izium Rayon, in the province of Kharkiv. The clip was shared by Walter Report, which distributes live updates on Ukraine. It told Mail Online, Ukrainian troops have pressed on significantly further already. Ukrainian troops captured Kupiansk too, a major and extremely important railroad hub and now also captured town just north of Kupiansk. The counterattack began in the final days of August and at first focused on the southern region of Kherson, which was swept by Russian forces in the opening days of the invasion. But, just as Moscow redirected attention and troops there, Ukraine launched another highly effective offensive in the northeastern region of Kharkiv. Facing the prospect of a large group of its forces becoming surrounded, Moscow ordered a troop pullback from Kharkiv. In a dramatic change of the state of play that posed the biggest challenge to the Kremlin since it launched the invasion on February 24. Flames rise from a fire following a Russian attack in Pokrovsk. Ukraine Mykola Sunhorovsky, a military expert with the Razumkov Center, a Kyiv-based think tank, said. The Ukrainian army has taken advantage of the relocation of the bulk of the Russian forces to the south and is trying to direct the course of the war. Excelling in maneuver and showing great ingenuity. Ukraine's quick gains, he added, are important both for seizing initiative and raising troops' spirit. Other video footage of people celebrating in the street and hugging soldiers has been shared in recent days, with people dancing in the streets of Kyiv. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky commended the military in a video address late on Saturday, saying it has reclaimed more than 770 square miles, 2,000 square kilometer, of territory so far this month. He also taunted Moscow over its withdrawal saying the Russian army is demonstrating the best it can do, showing its back, and they made a good choice to run. Both sides have suffered heavy losses in Europe's largest conflict since the Second World War. Russian soldiers prepare to fire a howitzer from their position at an undisclosed location in Ukraine. Ukraine's military chief said last month that nearly 9,000 of the country's soldiers have been killed in action. While Moscow has not reported its own losses since March, Western estimates put the toll as high as 25,000 dead, with the wounded captured and deserters taking the overall Russian losses to more than 80,000. Ukraine has sought to mobilize the population to reach an active military of 1 million people, while Russia, in contrast, has continued to rely on a limited contingent of volunteers for fear that a mass mobilization could fuel discontent and upset internal stability.